Hey boys, welcome back to game two with Sam Powell in the How Far with the Star career mode here. And uh, as you hear, we, uh, there's, there's a fair few expensive ones, but I do want to spend the money. Like usually in these, uh, in the Beer Pro and even in career mode, I like never, I never spend the money on the stat boost because, I don't know, I, uh, I don't really feel I need them. But in this, I'm going to be spending all the money I can because there's nothing else to really do with the money. And I might as well make my my player this that tad bit better. So we'll look at the uh, the, the opposition here. See if we can spot a few NRL uh, has beens as uh, Akuma Tai there, Ryan Hinchcliffe, Sam Rapira, and uh, a couple others I have heard of from England, obviously. But you know, I got, got a few, a couple of forwards. Not as many as uh, other teams, but it is. Uh, I uh, you know I, I'm enjoying playing with some Super League teams as we get a nice early kick away. It was a, it was a decent kick. I uh, just didn't get that bounce on for the 40-20, but a uh, decent controlled opening start as we take down the blind side here. Cuts back on the inside, going for the try line, but probably could have got the pass away. Just held on, took the tackle. We, you know, we didn't want a chance to arm too much and a neat little grubber there, but it's going to go dead. I could not believe it. Just did not hold up. I thought it was a nice little grubber by the by the player there as we send our winger down the sideline and that's a that's a good ball as uh, about 20 minutes into this game not too much has happened and once again that is that's going to be the main goal of this of this uh, career mode you know kicking for ground trying to control the game because you know Sam Powell uh, played with him now this is the second game he seems decent you know he's like 78 rated like 20 years old as we get the offload <laughs> Probably lucky not to be pinged for a forward pass, but we'll take it. You know, he seems pretty good, 78, 78 rated. Uh, very young young guy, but he's not he's not the best in the world, so we're going to have to just play smart. We're not going to be able to do Sean Johnson-like and, uh, you know, score 80 meter, 80 meters length of the field tries, but, you know, we just got to do the smart things well. And uh, right there, you know, trying to pin the end goal, but uh, right here, the Giants. I don't even know what happened there. <laughs> oh, who is this? Who scored it? I don't even know. We'll uh, see it pop up in a second. But I don't know if that came off the, the goalpost or it was just a wayward pass. But I was trying to... I was racing for the ball because I thought no one was out there. And then it's uh, Anthony Galling. I think it's Galling or Galling. Probably Galling. He uh, he comes up with it. I, I thought they were going to get away with it. But he just swooped up out of nowhere and scored the opening try. So well, you do take a 6-0 lead late in the half here. Almost making a break, but that's just what I'm talking about. Just not quite the pace of a Sean Johnson or, you know, another half in the comp. So we just got to, you know, play smart, look for the gaps. And what, right here, just for half time, another beautiful kick downfield. But it's going to go dead. I, I, was, I was frustrated, man. Like, all game I've been doing these long kicks, and they've been getting terrible bounces, just stopping in the, stopping just dead on the track. But right there, you know, we wanted that one to stop. And it's just bounced on. It even hit the goalpost and kept going. So I was, uh, I was a little little peeved by that. And uh, just for half time, I guess we were going for a sneaky 40-20. But uh, not to be. And look at that. Just controlling the game. 57% possession. 7 of 7. I mean, that's uh, it's pretty good going, honestly. As uh, we take the inside pass. Going to, you know, playing a little bit of fullback right there. But, you know, we're a halfback. You know, you got to be supporting. And, uh, you know, we can do a bit of that. Doesn't have to be all ball playing. As uh, 47 minutes gone in this game, looking to attack the blind side. Nice pass there. I think uh, I think it's Sargison out here, and he's actually he's probably one of the go-to men. Um, he's actually is he the one that signed to the Titans for next year, Dan Sargison? I think he was. There was a Super League guy or an England guy that was that signed to the Titans, and I thought he could potentially play. The rest of this season, but he was definitely going to be the next year. I think it's, I think it was Sargison, and he's pretty good in this game. So, you know, we got a couple of go-to men in Sam Tompkins and Sargison out there. So, you know, we got to use that to our advantage as we get a good chance here. I think it was Sam Tompkins who made the initial break, and we get a good chance to put the pressure on. Uh, nice ball there to Tompkins, but a beautiful tackle, the ball and all tackle, almost got the ball strip as well. I couldn't believe it. As right here, the, the fucking game screwed me over badly here. Oh my goodness, it's gone to shambles. The, uh, the dummy half got sort of tackled and then 
My dude just, uh, same power, just threw the pass away for some fucking unbeknownst reason. I didn't pass it, he just threw it. And uh, I was actually going to go for a field goal, so that, that potentially would have wrapped the game up, but we're still in, we're still in a precarious situation, I'm not going to lie. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's still on the tightrope. Any, any second they could get a try. Unfortunately, it, it's weird that the Super League doesn't have like golden point or even like extra time or saying uh, they just go to a draw, which is which is weird. And right here, it's gonna be Earl Crabtree, the big fella, is gonna barge his way over and uh, score just beside the post. So they're gonna get this kick with uh, with ease, you would think. And he does. He gets it, Danny Danny Bro or Danny Bra. As uh, as I'm sure he's called, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's looking a little risky. About under you know seven minutes to go, six minutes to go, they've got pretty good field field position. It is four tackle though. If they're gonna have a shot of field goal, it's gonna be a pretty distance. So uh, you know they're not gonna have a go that far out. If you look to spread it wide, cut it back on the inside. As uh, we're gonna look to attack down the blind side here. Not much doing. We get out to the winger. Just gets wrapped up, ball and all there. And uh, the time is running down, 6-all. And uh, it's looking a little bit like it's going to be a, uh, a draw. We're going to have a shot at field goal here. We're like 50-odd metres out. Have a go. It's nowhere near. I think uh, we're not quite with the wind. And uh, that's going to be... It's pretty much going to be the ball game. Honestly, we came up with a big shot there. But uh, that, that is going to be it. Last play of the game, they're looking a little dangerous. But Akuma Tai there. Gets wrapped up, and that is full time. And there is no, like I said before, there's no extra time, no golden point. So, you know, I, I'm gonna act like this is not a loss, but it's not a win. So we're gonna continue. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna act like this is a loss, and we have to change player after that. So, you know, it is what it is. Unfortunately, there's no extra time. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.